Hey folks, in this Prima Guides video, we'll be showing you some tips and tricks to playing the counselors in Friday the 13th. Now, just because Jason is some hulking monstrosity of destruction, doesn't mean the counselors are set to lose. Counselors have a plethora of tools and items that they can use during their gameplay. Wrenches, maps, frying pans, and guns to name a few. You must use these items to help protect yourself from Jason. You will need to manage your fear when playing as a counselor. Fear is a direct result of being pursued by Jason. Being alone, being in darkness, and seeing a corpse will increase your fear. Jason will have an easier time finding you if you're overwhelmed with fear. To reduce your fear, you will need to find other counselors, stay in lighted buildings, and remaining in hiding spots. As a counselor, you'll have to manage your stamina, which is the red semicircle surrounding your minimap. Stamina determines how long you can run and jog. If you run out of stamina, you will become exhausted and will move at a greatly reduced pace. You can speed up stamina recovery by crouching or remaining still. Cars will require a battery and gas to be filled before you can drive them. Of course, you will also need car keys. You can use a car to escape from the campsite, or you can try and run Jason over, if you got the nerve for it. You can also call the police by successfully fixing the phone box and ringing them up. Once you do call the cops, a timer will start ticking down. Once the timer reaches zero, you can escape the campsite at one of the exits. Just be careful. Jason can still try and kill you while you are escaping. Tommy Jarvis can be called with the radio. Once he is called, a random dead or escaped player will return as Tommy, the hunter. He will have a shotgun and enhanced stats. Just a word of warning. Tommy only has one shot with his shotgun, and while he's very strong, it does not guarantee a victory. Try and find weapons to defend yourself. Each item has different damage, durability, and stun chance. You can use the weapons to try and defeat Jason, but remember he is incredibly tough. You should use these weapons more for defense than offense. Once Jason is stunned by your weapon, use that time to run far away from him. While staying in a hiding spot gives Jason a general idea of your location, the specifics are still unknown, so you can use hiding spots to try and trick and confuse Jason. Just be careful of getting cornered off. Finally, leveling up is very important while playing Friday the 13th. Every game you play, you will earn experience. When you level up, you get customization points that can help you during your playthroughs. You can equip up to three perks at a time. Follow these tips and tricks and you can survive the onslaught from Jason. And that's the end of our video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.